So in my last video, I complained so much about a lot of errors people make. I said, it's about dropping something that you've taken out your time to do. And you can't take out your time to do when you're smudge painting very fast. That's one of the issues, biggest issues I think a lot of persons have. Now you come out with a picture where this place looks so smudged out. I've complained and now I think it's time to give the correction. You have my smudge brush. I said it's very special. I said this brush could liberate you from the shackles of death. But maybe you've tried to use it and done out with blurry pictures. I'm here to help you. So watch this video very closely because it's going to help you come out with the best result you can with this particular brush. Well, without further ado, let's dive right to this. If it's your first time of coming to this channel, I teach everything smudge painting. I teach every single thing you need to learn about smudge painting. Oh, call me the Albert Einstein of smudge painting. I don't mind. That would pass for a good name. Well, this is Mabel. She's a wise wife. And before we continue, if you're watching this video off YouTube, probably downloaded it. Please make sure you go back and check it out. Without further ado, mm, let's dive right to this. Okay, so the first thing I did was to cut out this picture from the background. And this is a special brush. I'm just going to show you. I'm using Photoshop CC17. That's because... A lot of you guys don't use the recent photoshop i have a system that totally does this photoshop i have 2021 i have 2022 but still i want to stick with what i think a lot of you need now this is a special brush it's going to be in the description below i have a video totally for that and that video probably pretty much blew up 30,000 views i think you should check it out probably if you want to download the brush well this is the brush and i'm just going to teach you how to do it i just cut out the picture from the background so the first thing i'm going to do is go to image go to adjustments go to shadows and highlights now the reason i probably tweak the shadows is to take away the the dark feel and to reduce the highlight a little bit now it's going to make it easier to have this the sweat pour and those other things like that i got this picture off instagram you can as well get this picture it's not so clear it's a little bit blurry if i zoom in a little bit you will notice that it's a little bit blurry so i'm going to duplicate with ctrl j here you see the layer one and i'm going to come over here and go to the vivid light then i'm going to go to filter i'm going to go to order i'm going to go to high pass then this is basically it now in applying high pass i said it before in my video i talked about a picture being having this earth warm feel the second point that really bothers me is the fact that some images turn out too sharp because of the high pass love person use on them and they turn out to have these beards that have this earth warm feel on it no that's not right now this is why it is like that when you make the high pass so much like this it makes it look a little bit distorted so you want to put a little value like it says 0 0.7 you press ok and it really works with your pictures you know there's no particular value on doing any of this so i'm just going to turn off this layer one see how it was before it's like this now it gives you one sharpness one sharp feel and that is why it's very important so i'm going to merge with ctrl e now this is to learn how to smudge like a professional so that's what i'm going to basically do so I'm going to duplicate this with Ctrl J. I know it's boring because I've said this a million times, but all these steps are very necessary to get the main thing done. And this video is going to take a while because I don't fast forward any part. I just want to teach um, by the second. So I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to go over here and go to create clipping mask. Now, I'm probably zooming in with Ctrl Alternate Space. Now, another thing I want to take into consideration is the fact that the resolution here is very low and it's going to affect our overall image so i'm going to go to image size and then i'm going to check see the resolution resolution is 96 and the width and height is just barely 600 so i don't think it's going to be so good because i mean i'm just teaching smudging right now so you want to learn this so i'm going to make the resolution 300 and the width and height i'm going to show you something when you make the resolution now look at this place very carefully her picture here look at it very carefully now when i make it 300 now it changes it have after a while the particles get a little bit compact i'll do it again so you see it gets a little bit compact it shows you that oh okay now this is a good it has a lot more feel so i'm going to make this in let's say 3000 um 
let's just say 3000 by 3000 i like living that 3000 i don't know it just makes me feel that i have so much control over what i'm doing so it's gonna load for a very short while but why is loading have you hit the subscribe button oh please let me know what you think in the comment section a lot of persons say this video is boring my videos are boring because i mean it's very very long and a lot of persons want so much long videos so i don't know should i should i make longer short videos i tried making some short i tried making some long so you can probably fit in uh, which one you really really want okay so it's downloading yeah it's been a long time i made a very long video that covered 30 minutes or so so i'm just gonna smudge this i think this is going to take a while i don't know because i'm not done already so next thing i want to do is to make the strength 30. a lot of places ask me i'm strong what what do you make strength i make the strength 30. and then this is the brush i use i have a lot of brushes i'm going to, going to include it in the description below now this is the brush i use so i'm going to come over here remember i clipped it initially i'm going to come over here and just smudge now this is the face i'm going to do something to illustrate the point this is the face so what i want to do is this i'm going to smudge this way okay i'm going to smudge this way i'll put the brush like this this i'm going to smudge for this place i'll smudge over here come over here smudge over here just smudge like this i'll follow the symmetry of the face I mean in a place like this i don't want to smudge like this i'm going to smudge the way the face went like this then over here i'll smudge like this because she has this bone there's this there's this ridge on top of your jaw your lip <laughs> that's a jaw then this place i'll smudge like this you know over here so that's what i do basically because i mean there are bones connecting your eyes like this and over here i just smudge like this so basically that's what i do i just follow the line of the pictures so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to choose the smudge brush choose 30 and probably make the size 150 or lower maybe 125 depending on your image like i said i'm using 3000 by 3000 i'm going to leave the link of the picture in the description below so i'm just going to do this like this so you see i'm following the symmetry now i'm not smudging the eyebrow because I want to oil paint the eyebrow and the face but that's not for this video this video is just about learning how to use the smudge brush you see i'm just pressing down now look at what i do if i press down the key the is it right or left now okay the left key and then i just i'll just drag my mouse around the area and then this is what i get so that's what i'm just basically doing i'm avoiding the hair but basically doing this so when it feels like okay this part feels like it's going to be a little bit difficult so i'm just going to do this you know sometimes it's not really easy getting to um, work on videos that are very long so sometimes yeah i know you want long videos or you want short videos or whatever you want but i still try to not make these videos um very very boring i don't know i don't know if i'll classify myself as a not so boring individual so I got, I'm getting to this chain and what I do is to just smudge alongside the ridge of the chain. I don't know what that, the bone there is called. I don't know. I have some medical students as friends that smudge still. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. So this, yeah, this is it. Well, I said I was going to open a telegram group in my former class and the uh, former video I did and i did open a telegram group i'm going to leave the link of the telegram group in the description below so you can as well check it it's out that's if you watch if you watch to this extent then you are a, really a student okay so i'm noticing a little irregularity i'll turn this off i'll turn this on i'm noticing that this place feels a little bit off i'll show you this place feels yeah this place feels a little bit off here it to be off just notice if i turn this off and turn this on so sometimes what you want to do is that's why i duplicated it so you can see what you want to do is probably press ctrl j duplicate this again turn this one below off then probably use the eraser tool and then erase this part erase this part so you can try it again now when you do that it's very easy okay this one i duplicate i'm just going to delete it and the one below i'm going to duplicate clip then just merge 
merge the word this one and the one above it oh ignore these things these ones they are not so important okay so with this i'm just gonna smudge now okay so time is of the essence so that's what i'm basically going to do i'm just going to smudge while i tell you it's not very easy getting to teach getting to i mean to work with a lot of persons watching you and they're talking at the same time it doesn't feel so easy it feels like it's very easy and i mean i'm flexing my time i'm having a good time but it's not as easy it's like singing in front of a crowd i mean i mean it feels very easy until you want to try it out and you realize i mean youtube is not as easy as a lot of you think i've been away for a long time i got a lot of messages oh i'm strong i missed you so much i was almost in tears i was almost in tears well that's that's that and i think i'll need a lot of your support for a lot of things i do now for the nose i'm just gonna smudge this part i'm just gonna give it this circular shape like this mm -hmm. like this so watch me do this i'm just gonna smudge this like this you know so when i'm doing this i'm just keeping i'm still keeping that 30 but then the other side is 90 because i'm just reducing it to it's the nose if i make the size say 150 like we did before you see it's making it blurry so that's not good enough so what i do is make the size um say 90 is okay or make it 70 when i want to smudge inside the nose or you can probably zoom in a bit and then just work on this this is how to get a very clean smudge i mean zoom in go close zoom out go close you know when i get to this place i'll just basically do this and i was thinking of dropping a step-by-step -step tutorial about um how to go about various things well i really don't know your wish is my command like i would always say so if you're watching this video of of youtube like i would say countless times um my what you what you think or you comment you drop on youtube goes a long way into i mean telling youtube that oh what, what this guy does is, is good after all so that's what i'm basically doing now you may just notice that i'm keeping the lines on her chest pretty much there you know i'm not taking everything away i just want to keep the realism as much as i do you know so i like i like the I like the pattern that comes that comes with the face or the picture it makes me feel very 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 in control of the whole thing so or maybe i'm a control freak i don't know or maybe i'm not maybe i'm just somebody that likes things done properly so that's it and on the nose here i'm making it um say 80 i'm just smudging alongside it here okay so yeah this is it i hope this tutorial has not gone so long i mean there are countless videos i have about how to use oil paints on the eyes and the lashes but well this is for just smudging now for the ears still not so much i'm just going to work on this you know just do this this is then for the i'll just go at the outer ear like this the circular c motion so i'm just gonna do just give it a see you feel you know so basically i didn't i didn't separate the different layers because i wanted to go straight up to this now if i turn this off i'll turn this on you see that it feels like the face especially all these parts feels like i'll show you feels like um all these parts all these parts all these parts they are not so much they're not so neat so see so before and now so what i want to do is this i'm going to make the brush the smudge brush i'll turn over to my smudge brush i'll make it 30. now i want to show you the difference i'm going to duplicate with ctrl j i'll come here and clip it and then i'm just going to i'm just going to smudge now what i'm doing with ctrl j i'm making the 20s because i want to make the transitions a little bit softer that way it's going to make this picture nicer so i'll make it 20 and then i'll just that's what i'm basically going to do make it 20 and just basically smudge it 
now for the lips i'm just going to be there in a minute but basically for the now this is for the head i'm not sure she has a big head i'm just saying that this is for the for the forehead big head gang okay so this is how it was before this is how it is now you see there's a lot a lot blending on it right now so now for the nose i'm just going to do the same thing you know just going to do the same thing now the reason i'm not touching the eyes and all those other things because i told you before that i want to add oil paint to it i think i'm going to add a little oil paint on the lip as well a little oil paint and i'll probably just smudge my brush now with 20 i can still i can still smudge it but i mean if you're if you're not schooled i don't think you should you should really smudge you should really um, go on parts that has patterns if you don't i think but i think a lot of persons misuse oil paint i mean it's it's there for everything i mean they even oil paint the face before smudge I, I don't buy that idea because it turns out to make your image look like um i don't know like a fake mona lisa a fake mona lisa so yeah that's it basically well i don't know my voice is feeling a little bit cozy today yeah so this is it now it doesn't feel like i did much but i'm just going to show you before and now so it has blended a little bit so you might have a little issue i have i think i have a few issues with the mouth the lip here so i'm just basically going to i can probably erase it like i did before and now so so i'm just going to turn off the overall and then show you how it is now so this is how it is on smudge and this is how it is smudge now so you can check out that okay this part has a little bit of error you can clean and smudge again and you know try until you become a professional then it feels a little bit easier for you so i think that's that basically i released videos about how to add oil paints to this thing and how to get other better things done well that's basically all did you enjoy my voice did you enjoy anything in the video if you did please leave a thumbs up on youtube it would mean a whole lot to this channel this i'm just signing out oh i'm gonna meet you in the next video bye bye